Hey everybody, welcome to Friday Sews, March 19th, 2021. I had to think about that. We're already at March 19th. Wow. Um, so I didn't film a Friday Sews last Friday because I was sick for like a week. So I just didn't have the energy and I wasn't up to it. So here I am. So I have some... Things to show you because when I'm sick in bed, I go online and I order things. <laughs> yeah, I order things. So I have a few things to share with you. And also, um, I did buy something that was on my sewing wish, wish list, which was the last big ticket item I had. So I got a bonus from work and I said, you know what? I worked my butt off. I deserve it. And I bought this boiler iron, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, um, so yes, because I was sick, I didn't really get any sewing done. I didn't work on my raglan coat pattern, so I'm really behind on that. But this week, I have been working on some pieces for my friend for her birthday. And this is a bag, so I haven't done the lining yet, this little bag. This is using canvas with uh, from Rifle Paper Company, and first time I've ever made a bag, first time I've ever used rivets. So this is really cute. I'll link the pattern below from Etsy. She she makes a lot of really cute bag patterns, and I have a matching wine bottle carrier, and I lined it with yellow. yellow. And then the lining for the purse is going to be this polka dot. So I think kind of cute. Well, yeah, I think it's cute. And this is um, easy self-draft pattern. Not self-draft, but I use the guidance of Professor Pincushion and it's just measuring out a rectangle. That's all that that is. Super, super easy. And in case you're wondering what the wine is, it's Cloudy Bay Sauvignon Blanc. So if you like New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, Cloudy Bay. Really good. Okay, so that's what I've been working on this week after work, little by little. And I'm going to be actually also making a cute little headband out of some other rifle paper fabric from this. So... That pattern is from Seamwork. I'll link it below too. So I don't have it finished, so I can't show you. Okay, so let's talk about the items I have purchased. And so you guys already know from my last Friday sews, which I did two weeks ago, I ordered the SureFit Designs Bodice kit. And it arrived. And here's the ruler that goes with it. So I'm actually going to do um, like a first impression and I'm going the first time I use it and make a bodice, I'm going to film that. And I'm going to film everything you get in this kit. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to do it this upcoming week. Okay, so I received that. What else do I have here? More SureFit design stuff tracing vellum that comes with it. Okay. You should see this. My table is a big mess. It always is. Okay. So I ordered, this is a, it's not a DVD. It's actually a little USB stick inside. I haven't opened it yet, but this is from Kenneth King, who, you know, I just adore and an amazing teacher. So this is called smart sewing order. So sometimes, um, you can get, it can be confusing as to what order you should sew things in. And you probably think, why would you buy a USB stick about that? But it's Kenneth King and he has lots of little tips and tricks. I'm going to be watching this every night before I go to bed. So I'll be able to talk more about it. Hopefully next Friday sews. So it says garment construction order is key. Learn designer techniques for faster mistake proof sewing and polished results. So 
I will link this down below like everything else. I bought this from Threads Magazine website. Yeah, I'm glad it's not a DVD because I don't have a DVD player. <laughs> okay, what else, what else? Okay, this I definitely bought when I was sick in bed because I was trying to watch and read everything it had to do with fitting because you know I'm this like fit kick. So this is a substantial book. It's called Fitting and Pattern Alteration. So it talks about um, fitting problems and how to fix them, not just on the pattern, but also for people that do alterations. So if you already have a garment and you need to fix a problem, it tells you how to do that. So uh, let me just show you. Like, If you can see at all what that kind of looks like, I've been thumbing it through it. Um, it seems pretty useful so far. Um, I need to have spend more time with it. But yeah, I think the techniques, or at least the, the fixes in this book are a little bit different than the fixes I normally see. That's my first impression. So again, I need to dive more into that. All right. We have here the Simply Sewing Magazine. This is a UK magazine, all about sewing, of course. And it comes with patterns. So in this month's edition, I got a tote bag. Funny enough, because I'm sewing a tote bag, that this is more simple. And, and honestly, you don't actually have to have a pattern to sew a tote bag. It's all rectangles, which makes life easy, I think. And then I have a cardigan. And then I have a wrap dress. So yeah, those are the patterns that come with it. And you can subscribe at, for three issues. It's only $10. So you get this once a month for three months. And $10, $10, I think that's a great deal. Now, yes, it does take a little bit to get here since it's coming from the UK. Um, it does. It comes from Royal Mail. So, but I love it. I uh, travel to uh, UK for work. I also went to grad school there. And so it's always fun to be able to go to the grocery store and see these magazines and check out. Um, we don't get, we don't have those here in the US, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I can't even find, sometimes I find this magazine at Joanne, but very rarely, actually, very rarely. So I think that leads me to the crazy purchase that uh, I bought with my bonus money. Uh, I got lucky because the model I wanted, so this is a reliable boiler iron. Okay, why did I touch that? <laughs> it could get hot. It, um, I bought this because the steam is phenomenal. And yes, I did like my gravity feed iron and it was the best option for the money that I was willing to spend at the time. But let's be honest, having an IV pole here, it's just a bit awkward. And the steam is good, even though it was good, it wasn't as good as this. So uh, yeah, I splurged. So this is the 4000 IS, I think they call it, I, for sure it's 4000. And this is an Italian iron company. And I got lucky because Bed Bath & Beyond actually sells the 4000. I think it's the only model they sell on their website. And that 20% off coupon, it applied. So it saved me a, a chunk of change. So uh, I'm really grateful. Otherwise, I'd be paying a lot more. So what this does is you put, and I'm gonna do a review, but I'm just gonna briefly go over this because you're probably really curious. And I'm gonna blame Kenneth King for this. Uh, he has a boiler iron, a reliable as well, though his model, I believe, is two notches up from mine. And mine is uh, not the entry level, but like two levels up, whatever. They're all good, I'm sure, trust me. So you put water in here and this, what it will do is heat up 
and it boils and it builds, you know, pressure and therefore steam. And it's just crazy, the steam. I'm actually heating it up now because I'm going to um, do a little burst. So you see that? You see, it's, it's some major steam and it is a dream to work with. And it's one of those things where you're like, you spent how much on an iron? But then once you have it, you're just like, wow, I can't live without this thing. Um, so yeah, I know that it's extravagant. But in any case, uh, yeah, I really, 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 really like this iron. So when I had to run out and get a couple of supplies for the uh, bag I'm making, I ended up getting some patterns. They were having a Simplicity $1.99 sale at Joanne, so I picked up a few. I also ordered one online. So this, Butterick 3790, and I think that it, it's 80s, right? It looks 80s with the sleeves. I, I like this silhouette. I like the sleeves, so I got it. And you, this pattern calls for crisp fabric, soft, soft or crisp fabrics. Voile, Batiste, Jersey, crepe back satin, crepe, crepe de chine, and Georgette. Rayon Chalet speaks to me because you know I have quite the stash of Rayon Chalet. I got this Simplicity 8878 and um, I like it, but I'm, I, I wonder if it's one of those patterns where in theory it's good or it looks good on someone else, but it might look, look good on me. I think this would really be cute in like um, a chambray, like light denim, medium denim, dark denim, but a chambray is what I'm going for here. Then I have Simplicity 9138, which they call, it calls for chambray, cotton lawn, gauze, linen, wolf. Um, not sure what fabric I'm going to use for this, but I have plenty in my stash. And this one that I'm looking at, I'm like, yeah, I probably have it. <laughs> it's 9136 and basically the same kind of fabrics, but this time you can use like lightweight denim and flannel as well. Also knits. It's a good pattern. It's a raglan sleeve. And actually, maybe I don't have it. I don't know. I don't know. So I thought I would mention that I am wearing McCall's 7688, which is my tunic in French terry. And I love this pattern. Also, um, if you search hashtag Friday Sews in the search bar, you can find all of the sewing channels that are participating in Friday Sews. And it's a really great way to find new sewing channels to like and subscribe to. So that is it. That's what I've been working on. I'm just grateful that I'm feeling better and can start sewing again because I am super behind on everything that I envisioned for myself to have, have been done by now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and just watching all of the things that I have accumulated in the past two weeks. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.